What up everyone? I hope everybody is having an amazing day. Today we are going to visit Mission Bay in the beautiful western neighborhood of San Diego. We're going to explore the bay, the neighborhood, and show a little history of this wonderful community. Let's take a trip into Mission Bay. episode this time we're gonna do it on the west side of mission bay for those of you know what's up with the neighborhood y'all know what's up so i'm gonna take you inside this amazing community so pretty much here is the beginning of mission bay starting out you got those beautiful homes on the right side and for those of you who remember old school right here going into the neighborhood And here we are in the heart of Mission Bay in the western side of San Diego. And back there is the old neighborhood. And if you see, it's all modernized. I'm gonna take you into the heart of Mission Bay. So there's a lot of ducks out here, a lot of beautiful wildlife. Bam, and this is pretty much from the outskirts into the neighborhood. So it is a, a peaceful place to come out beautiful out here just to chill you know what I mean and just relax hide out for a minute but you don't want to hide out too long especially at night time you know that's when you get caught slipping anyways I'm gonna take you into the bay it's actually a man-made bay that was made I'm gonna show a little history of that so you guys know when that was established and pretty much the whole setup of Mission Bay and how it came to be so here we are in the main neighborhood of Mission Bay, you know what I'm saying, if you was growing up here in the 80s, 90s, even early 2000s, y'all know what's up. But anyways, we're going to take you into this beautiful, amazing community and show you around, you know, the beautiful homes, apartment structures. Anyways, here's a little history of Mission Bay Park was developed from the 1940s through the 1960s using the title Marshland Falls Bay by Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo in 1542. The San Diego River had historically shifted its terminus from San Diego Bay to the south to the Falls Bay to the north until 1852 when the United States Army constructed a first dike along the south side of the river to prevent it from shifting back to the San Diego Bay. This made Falls Bay and the Cetuary Outlet for the San Diego River drainage. The dike fell shortly after its construction was finished, but paved the way for the current San Diego River flood control channel. During the late 1800s, some recreational development began in Falls Bay, including the building of hunting and fishing facilities. These facilities were destroyed by flooding that took place years later. 
1944, a Chamber of Commerce committee recommended the development of Mission Bay into a tourist and recreational center to help diversify the city's economy, which was largely the military. In the late 1940s, dredging and filling operations began converting the marsh into the jewel that today is Mission Bay Park. What up, what up, here we are. Mission Bait, and this is how they do it out here in San Diego with the San Diegans. Getting a glimpse of that sun. Let me show you. A beautiful day out here in sunny San Diego. So there is the man made pond, the bay, you could say, the bay. It used to be contaminated um, many years back ago. It used to have a lot of signs and not go in the water, but I don't know how it is now. I don't go in. So, but now we're gonna take you to Fiesta Island. That way you guys can see what it looks like from Fiesta Island. Let's go. And here we got beautiful Fiesta Island. Folks, you guys have seen it from the top. Also from the land, 25 million cubic yards of sand and silt were dressed to create the landforms of the park, which is now almost entirely man-made. Today, the San Diego River is constrained on both the North and the South Bay, Levi's San Diego River flood control channel, and it's no longer drains into the ocean through Mission Bay, other than where it's located at an entrance to Mission Bay. Once again, Mission Bay is human-made, saltwater bay located south of the Pacific Beach community of San Diego, California. Created from approximately 2,000 acres, 810 HA of hysterical wetland, marsh, and saltwater bay habitat. The bay is part of the recreational Mission Bay Park, the largest man made aquatic park in the United States, consisting of 4,235 acres, 17.14 km2, approximately 46% land, and 54% water, folks. The combined area makes Mission Bay Park the ninth largest municipally owned park in the United States. The bay was created to enhance recreational opportunities in San Diego, but doing so has fundamentally altered the ecology of San Diego County by removing the all but 40 acres, 16 HA, or approximately 5% of wetland habitat. Mission Bay Yacht Club is on the west side of the bay. They conduct sailing races year round in the bay and the nearby Pacific Ocean and has produced national sailing champions in many classes. Also on the west side of Mission Bay lies Mission Bay Sports Center, which offers not only boat rentals in Mission Bay, but has the largest aquatic youth camp throughout San Diego. Fiesta Island, a large peninsula park located with Mission Bay, has a large off-leash dog park and is popular located for charity walks and runs, bicycle races, time trails, barbecues, partying, drinking, you know what I'm saying folks? If you ain't from the area, you gotta come here. You will have a blast. So if you like fishing, fishing is permitted in all areas of Mission Bay, except in the areas designated for swimming, water skiing, and personal water craft. Also, our Mission Bay Park is home to many rare and endangered species, including the California Least Turn. A program goes into effect every April through August to protect this bird at four of its nesting sites in Mission Bay Park. It is a beautiful bird. When I do come across it, it is breathless when I see it. Approximately one half of the park was one state Thailand. Mission Bay Park was transferred to the city of San Diego with several restrictions some of which were adopted by the citizen of San Diego for adoption into San Diego City Charter with others implemented as part of the California Coaster Commission's oversight of local planning and land use decisions. Among the limitations are a ban on permanent residential development or any private ownership of the land within the Thailands and a limit on commercial development, a leasehold of no more than 25% of the land area and 6.5% of the water area for private purposes. This ensures that most of the acres making up Mission Bay Park are available for public recreational use. Anyways, that concludes another episode. And this time, like I said, we did it on the west side of Mission Bay. I took you into the neighborhood. I took you from the sky. You know what I'm saying? Seeing Fiesta Island. So we got a lot more episodes to go. Also going to be going down East County. Got a lot of comments on that. Also in Apparel Beach as well. So 
you have any suggestions go ahead and leave it on the comments what would you like to see maybe it's not about just neighborhoods maybe it's the you know better neighborhoods the rich neighborhoods maybe we could talk about that and take it through there anyways let me know other than that thank you so much for watching oh yeah don't forget to like give me a subscribe if you're new and also share it too if you like the content please share it because it helps out their algorithm so other people can see it as well other than that thank you so much for watching another episode and we'll catch you in the next one peace out y'all